potentially spent upwards of $1,199 on the latest Galaxy S23 Ultra, you might want to keep that gorgeous high refresh rate panel protected. There are tons of options at various price points, but one brand that keeps producing some of the most expensive screen protectors is Whitestone. Is the latest Whitestone dome glass worth it for the Galaxy S23 Ultra? Well, we tested them to find out. The eye-watering official retail price of a Whitestone dome glass for your Galaxy S23 Ultra is $49.99 for a two-pack though, with discounts actually dropping that currently to $39.99. So that equates to around $20 to $25 per screen protector, but you do get a few little extras thrown in for good measure. Using this pricing model and comparing to the $259 screen repair price of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, that's actually around 10% of the cost to rectify any damage to your phone screen. So in that instance, it does seem a lot more affordable. And having tested tons of screen protectors for a range of devices, it is easy to see why people choose Whitestone for the display protection. Each screen protector does feel closer to the actual glass of the Galaxy S23 Ultra display. I wouldn't say it's quite the same, but the feeling is probably about as close as it, you will be able to get with protection applied to your display. For whatever reason, Samsung has stopped offering pre-applied screen protectors, and this is a really huge annoyance and something we do hope they U-turn on in future, but it seems like it probably is a profit-driven decision. I've actually noted that the screen on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, I'm not sure if anyone else has seen this, seems to be more prone to scratches this year. My review unit, I've only had it for a couple of weeks, has two substantial gashes. I'm not talking about scratches, I'm talking about quite substantial chips from the screen right in the center, and I'm actually unsure how it actually happened. I baby these phones when I'm using them when I'm, during my review periods. I can only actually guess that something sharp was in my pocket, maybe something like a piece of sand that I didn't notice, or I caught the screen on a pocket zipper, and that's my working theory. For that reason, I actually regret not seeking screen protection sooner, and I suggest that you do the same if you do pick up this device. But we're gonna work out if the Whitestone dome glass for the S23 Ultra is actually worth it here. I think for me, one of the biggest problems with these though at least for the Whitestone Dome Glass in general, no matter what device you use it for, is the finicky installation process. Once you get it down, it's quite easy, but you do need patience and time to get your phone screen fully covered. The UV bonded adhesive also can be frustrating as leakage can cause a mess that you'll need to thoroughly clean. But if you do do this perfectly first time, like I managed to do luckily with my S23 Ultra, it seems to be fine. Another thing to consider is that because the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a curved screen, the thought process here is that this method should mean uh, you get a more better and consistent fit. The process itself takes around five to 10 minutes from start to finish, and you can follow Whitestone's official instructions with a direct link in the description or via the QR code, which you can pause and view on screen now. As for the package, and for this $49.99 package, in the box, you'll find a USB-C UV curing light, two Whitestone dome glass screen protectors, the adhesive itself, which is liquid, adhesive absorption pads for the mounting frame, and a position bridge for the adhesive application. There's pin loaders to hold that in place, plus screen masking films uh, for every kind of connector and port masks that you might wanna use. There's alcohol wipes included, a cleaning cloth and dust removal stickers with a screen protector removal card sometimes thrown in. It isn't always in every single package. That's quite a substantial array of accessories just for a screen protector. But it is worth noting that Whitestone also offers lifetime warranties for each screen protector. But as we noted in our Pixel 7 hands-on, you will need to keep the UV curing light if you do want to replace that at any point. Replacement screen protectors don't actually ship with this what is an essential extra. Just keep it around in case you need it again. So if you've ever purchased an expensive Whitestone dome glass screen protector before, then you'll likely have some sort of idea of what to expect if you choose to pick one up for your Galaxy S23 series device. The tempered glass itself reaches almost all the way to the edges but with just enough room for all official and even 99.9% .9 of third-party cases that you'll ever need to fit on this screen without pinching or overlapping the edges and therefore causing problems. As I noted earlier, in my experience, the Galaxy S23 Ultra screen is not as durable as I expected, even though it is supposedly Gorilla Glass Victus. Getting something that closely mimics the feel of the real screen though, without adding a tacky or mushy feeling under your finger, is something that I've actually personally really valued. While Samsung has reduced the screen curves on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, true edge protection probably isn't gonna be possible no matter what option you do choose. 
If you do drop your phone without a case protecting these precious and prominent edges, then it's probably going to be game over with a substantial crack. I would say though, so long as you follow the installation process closely, the fit and finishes that you'll attain on your smartphone are genuinely tough to beat. And I can attest to that having kept the screen protector on my Pixel 6 Pro and my Pixel 7 Pro having kept it beyond the test period. What I really love here though is that each dome glass protector even has its own minor oleophobic coating. Over time this might break down, but for a long time it should help deflect dirt, grime and fingerprints almost as well as the original display, but without the risk of scratch protection. The smooth glass itself also feels very, very premium. So long as you do re-register your fingerprint data, the unlock process is also just as fast when no screen protector is included. One complaint though I do have is that the U-shaped cutout for the selfie camera. This design choice means that a tiny portion of your Galaxy S23 Ultra screen will be exposed and therefore prone to greater lint buildup. What is most annoying is that unlike the circular hole used on the 7 and 7 Pro or Pixel 7 Pro Whitestone dome glass, selfies and video calls aren't going to be affected. So as long as you brush or wipe away any excess adhesive after the initial application process, it should be fine. I'm still not sure why a full screen cover isn't viable as the in-display fingerprint scanner is covered and it usually worked fine for me. As I say, it's a minor nitpick, but one that I don't really understand. I would also say that this is a great uh, option for people like me who've had a scratch on the screen. As you can see, the adhesive has filled in all of those gaps and you literally can't see any of that existing screen damage. But is it worth $50? And I think this is the crux of the problem for Whitestone for just about any device. Can $50 for two screen protectors really be justified? In most cases, I'd say that that likely or the answer that's going to be likely is no. In that instance, I'd say go and pick up or grab a TPU multipack for under $10 for curved screens. For the flat screen S23 and S23 Plus, go and get a cheap tempered glass screen protector. They're 10 a penny and usually they fit really well with mounting brackets available. It is worth noting though that if you don't get any camera cutout protection on these uh, Galaxy S23 Ultra white tone dome glasses like you do with some other devices, instead you'll need to purchase additional camera ring protectors and priced at $17, I think they're pretty pointless as a good case is actually going to alleviate any scratches or scratch risk to those camera lenses. Also, on top of that, adding extra lenses to the camera glass can negatively impact the quality of your photos and videos, and the S23 Ultra is sold on its camera quality. Where I think the value proposition is quite solid with Whitestone in general is the lifespan of each screen protector. The unique UV bonding process ensures that the Whitestone dome glass is properly glued to your Galaxy S23 Ultra screen. And this adhesive, as I mentioned, can hide existing scuffs and scratches, as you'll see on my unit here. Plus, it actually won't snag or buckle around the seams like some cheaper TPU screen protectors, although there is a slight lip on your screen as a result of having this placed on. Samsung's official screen protection is made from TPU and starts at $29.99 for a two pack. And I think when you compare to that, this makes the Whitestone dome glass a better option in a lot of ways. Throwing the lifetime warranty and the expensive entry costs become a little bit more palatable. I'm sure that most people would rather pay $39.99 or $50 for years of protection rather than $259 to replace a screen outright. A case and a good screen protector combo is also going to be cheaper than years of monthly insurance payments, although some people will have that on top anyway. Cheaper alternatives they can definitely be had. It's just harder to find good quality options, at least in our experience. Although we have left some of our recommended alternatives down in the description below that some of my colleagues at 9to5Google here have tested, and we'll update these if we find more viable options later down the line too. But realistically, the crux of this entire video is, is that high-end accessories just are not gonna be for everyone. But I must admit, I do think the quality here is very noticeable when using your phone, especially a $1,000 or higher value device. I wouldn't say that's a full seal of approval, but there is undoubted quality on offer, even if the application process is one of the most in depth. I'm interested though to hear your thoughts. Do you think that the Whitestone Dome Glass is actually worth its asking price? Let me know. Until next time though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.